Hello everyone, how to simplify this nice algebraic expression without using the calculator. If we have 19 to the power of 5 minus 19, we write this algebraic expression into the uh, lowest form. But here the one uh, necessary condition is that uh, calculator is not allowed. We need to show all of the working on this paper. So I hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now we move towards the solution of this problem so here the very first thing we are going to do is first we need to focus into the exponent of this term and its exponent is 5 and we write it as 19 to the power of 4 plus 1 we know that 4 plus 1 becomes 5 and minus 19 and further in the next step we use here the nice uh, exponential law you know about that if we have a to the power of m plus n is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n so according to this rule of exponent we break these exponents as in this form 19 to the power of 4 is multiplied by 19 minus this is also 19 and further in the next step you see here both of these two terms involve 19 so that we take common 19 from here and when we take common 19 we get the remaining values are 19 to the power of 4 minus 1 and in the next step uh, we rewrite uh, this expression as this is 19 times of 19 to the power of 4 we write this 19 to the power of 4 as 19 square and its whole square minus this is our 1 okay so further in the next step here uh, we need to uh, just uh, write this uh, 19 square and its whole square so that here first uh, we take uh, 19 square and then we again take its square and we get this uh, uh, this value okay so that here we just take 19 square so you very well know about that the meaning of 19 square is that we multiply 19 with 19 so here you remember that because calculator is not allowed in this problem so that's that's why uh, I need to do all of these steps and further in the next step so here I can just uh, solve this problem in a very nice or smartest way in which uh, you, you can't use the calculator or any long calculations okay <clears throat> so here first we uh, first we break this 19 into the form of tens and ones so it will be written as 19 times we write this 19 as 10 plus 9 and further in the next step we need to multiply this 19 separately on both of these two values and you know about that 19 times 10 becomes here 190 plus here we multiply this 19 with this 9 so now here we consider first uh, first we consider this is one digit number and this is our one number so we multiply these two values and we get here 9 9 is 81 we write 1 and carry 8 so 9 1 is a 9 9 plus 8 becomes here 17 so here further we need to sum up both of these two values and you get 0 plus 1 becomes 1 9 plus 7 becomes 16 we write 6 and carry 1 so this is 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 1 becomes 3 it means that uh, 19 square is equals to 361 but uh, here our target is to find 19 square and its whole square so it means that uh, we need to again take scaling on both of the sides so that we here when we again take scaling it will be written as 19 square and its whole square is equals to 361 square so 361 square is also means that we multiply 361 with 361 so here we again break this value into the form of hundred tens and ones 
and it will be written as first we write this value as it is 361 and now we break this value as this is 300 plus 60 plus 1 and now here further in the next step we multiply this 361 on each of these values and it will become this is 361 is multiplied by 300 plus 361 is multiplied by 60 plus 361 is multiplied by 1. So here in the next step we need to multiply all of these values. And now you see here we have uh, when we multiply these values here we consider this is one digit number and this is our three digit number. When we multiply 0 with this value you get 0. When we multiply this 0 with this again complete number you get 0 and 3 times this number is equals to 3 ones are 3, 3 six are 18, we write 8 and carry 1, 3 three is a 9, 9 plus 1 becomes 10. So it will be written as in this form plus in the same pattern we multiply these two numbers and here we consider this is one digit number and this is our two digit number. And when we multiply 0 with this number, you get 0. And when we multiply 6 with this number, you get 6 ones are 6. 6 6 is 36. We write 6 and carry 3. 6 3 is 18. 18 plus 3 becomes 21. And plus here we need to multiply these values and you get here 361. And now here in the next step, we need to sum up all of these values without using the calculator and you get 0 plus 0 plus 1 becomes 1, 0 plus 6 becomes 6, 6 plus 6 becomes 12, we write 2 and carry 1, 3 plus 6 becomes 9, 9 plus 3 becomes 12, 12 plus 1 becomes 13, we write 3 and carry 1, 8 plus 1 is 9, 9 plus 1 is 10, we write 0 and carry 1, so 0 plus 2 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, and at the last we get this is our 1. So here we will get 19 square and its whole square is equals to this one. And now we move backward and we put the value of 19 square and whole square in this. And now here we just uh, copy down this static equation as okay. So that our <clears throat> above expression is copied down here. It is uh, 19 to the power of 5 minus 19 is equals to 19 multiplied by 19 square and its whole square and minus 1. So here uh, now first we need to substitute the above value here. So after substituting this value here it will become 19 times of 1 3 0 3 2 1 minus 1 so we need to subtract these two values and we get 1 9 and it is multiplied by 1 3 0 and 3 2 0 so further in the next step we uh, multiply this 19 as 1 3 0 3 2 0 we write this 19 as uh, we write this 19 as 10 plus 9. So here when we multiply this value separately on both of these values, it will become when we multiply this with 10, we just write one more zero here. And plus when we multiply this value here, it will become 9 times 0 becomes 0. 9 2 is 18, we write 8 and carry 1. 9 3 is 27, 27 plus 1 is 28. We write 8 and carry 2, 9 0 is 0, 0 plus 2 is 2, and 9 3 is 27. We write 7 and carry 2, 9 1 is 9, 9 plus 2 becomes 11. So here in the final answer, we need to sum up both of these values and we get 0 plus 0 is 0. This 0 plus 8 is 8. This 2 plus 8 is 10. We write 0 and carry 1. This 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6. This 0 plus 7 is 7. This 3 plus 1 is 4. This 1 plus 1 is 2. So this is the our final simplified form of the given question. This is the final answer. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.